What's going on guys? Twin coming at you with another MLB The Show 8 team video. Going to continue this team that we drafted yesterday. I really think this is the 12-0 team, so we're still shooting for 12-0 or more likes on this video. Down in the comment section, this is huge, you guys. If you could do me a huge favor, let me know how the quality on this video is. I'm doing 1920 by 1080 instead of 720, so I'm doing 1080 instead of 720, or at least I'm supposed to be doing it. I tried to do this before, and it was still 720, but I'm pretty sure I figured out the settings so if it looks different if it looks better definitely let me know that down in the comment section below we're just going to go ahead hop into this first game try to get win number two so you guys can see if the game does look better does look any different and then let me know that down in the comment section we're playing the birmingham bananas i have not seen this card in a while our opponent has immortal vlad Leading him off, 77 Danny Santana, Eric Thames, Marwin Gonzalez, Jake Lamb, Raul Mondesi. Dude, I think this guy's a BR GOAT, man. For me, he's a GOAT. A lot of you guys didn't necessarily agree with that, so I'm sorry. Brock Holt, w William Estudillo, I don't know his first name. Jeffrey Ramirez on the mound. Oh, we're the home team, my bad. We're the home team, sorry. <laughs> Looking for win number two, trying to stay undefeated. So two down in the top of the first inning, Eric Thames coming up. I'm gonna bring in the lefty, Kevin Segrist, and here's just a few pitches, you know. I'm just gonna show you guys probably Eric Thames' entire at bat, just so you guys can see uh, how the gameplay looks, how the quality looks while pitching. And like I said, I've tried to do this before and I, I, I didn't have the settings right, so it was literally just like normal, nothing had changed. And I'm pretty sure, I'm, I'm like 90% sure that today the settings are actually changed. They're how I want them to be. And you guys are actually seeing a difference. I, I, I'm really hoping I'm not embarrassing myself again and saying that there's these changes. Having you guys look for something and it's the same as normal. So hopefully it does look different. Hopefully it does look better. That is what I'm going for. And I'm probably going to show you guys now Kyle Schwarber's entire at bat. So you can see some hitting gameplay back to back with the pitching. All right, 1-0. Oh. What's my average with them? 314? Not bad. I'll take it for sure. Also, down in the comments section, let me know, okay? I don't know if any of you guys still play Fortnite. I'm getting a support a creator code. And just, you know, if, if you're watching and listening and you play Fortnite, let me know uh, if you would be willing to use that code, I guess. I just, I, I'm trying to get a gauge on if anyone who watches these videos uh, is still plays Fortnite or not. I'm, I'm excited. I, I'm a little late to the party, but I finally applied for a supporter creator code. So that should be a lot of fun. And two and two to Kyle Schwarber. Here we go, buddy. Let's do something big. Oh, I wanted to swing at it, man. Three and two though. Here we go. Give me a fastball. Same spot up here. I'm ready for it this time. Ball four, man. I wanted to swing again, but we're drawing ball four. Again, guys, please let me know how the quality looks down in that comment section. Trevor Story coming up now. Trevor Story through the middle. And something you guys pointed out to me, I didn't even realize. Trevor Story's home run yesterday. I didn't even, like, the PCI wasn't on the ball. It was weird, man. Uh, he, he hit a no-doubt home run, and the PCI wasn't even on the ball. That was crazy yesterday, and I'm really glad. Uh, that you guys pointed that out to me. Didi Gregorius up to bat. Runners on the corners. Nobody down. Looking to score a run here. Trevor Story on first with that 92 speed. Something into the gap. Could score him. Didi Gregorius getting it through. Trevor Story, 92 speed. I'm sending him. Wait, is that Vlad? He didn't throw it to third. Let's go. Vlad has a cannon out there. And one thing that I wanted to mention, I was just waiting for something else to happen. I'm sorry that the camera is super bright. So uh, it snowed, I think, like seven or eight inches. It's actually still snowing. And the snow, oh my goodness. Johnny Bench with the three run. No doubt home run. Yo, he destroyed that over the scoreboard. Oh my goodness, 483 foot home run. Holy moly, that's crazy. All right, so in math, my teachers taught me to round up. So let's just go ahead and say, okay, can we agree in the comment section? Let's go ahead and say that was a 500 foot home run. And, uh... As I was saying, though, it snowed today. It's still snowing, and snow makes it really bright outside if it's kind of sunny, if it's not super cloudy. And I mean, it, it, it's snowing, so it's not as bright as it could be, but, like, it's just making it super bright in here. I need to get, like, a curtain or something for the window over there just so it doesn't mess with the camera. Ken Griffey Jr. now. Back-to-back -back home runs. Back-to-back -back no doubters. Let's go, baby. Oh, my goodness. Five to nothing lead. Yeah, so two strike count. I think it was one and two. 
and I accidentally hang a changeup or a curveball. Sorry, not a changeup. I, I hang a curveball literally down the middle. And lefty versus righty, he's gonna destroy it. Cuts the lead from five to four. I've been pitching pretty well. Like that was actually, I think, the really only mistake I've made so far this game. Uh, I don't remember the first inning. I showed you guys the bat at bat to Eric Thames. I don't think I made any mistakes there. Uh, but besides that pitch, I feel good today. Like I don't I, just overall. I mean, that wasn't amazing either. Uh, <laughs> now that I'm talking and pitching, I'm not focused. But overall, like hitting and pitching today, I feel pretty good. I, I don't know if this is going to sound stupid, but I'm pretty sure I play better during the day than at night. Uh, at least, I, I do think I play better. And, and I think it's because of the lighting. So right now, it's just kind of natural lights. I do have like two kind of studio lights set up. If you guys know what that is, it's pretty much just, it, it, they're like lamps with light bulbs or whatever. Uh, but I have two studio lights set up. Oh, shoot. Um, I have two studio lights set up. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. And at night, they're a lot harsher on my eyes. And during the daytime, like, like they're, they're, they're there. They're, they're lighting me up a little bit. I, I don't know what, what it would look like if I turn them off. Maybe it wouldn't be so bright. Maybe it would actually look good for the camera. Um, but at nighttime, they... I, I feel like hurt my eyes, you know? I, 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 maybe it sounds stupid, but I, I do feel like they make me play... Uh, a, a little bit worse and I'm, I'm thinking maybe I should invest in one of those Elgato key lights because you can turn down like the intensity I'm pretty sure on that light so I, I can make them not as bright at night and brighter during the day whatever I need to do and I feel like that might help my gameplay if I'm recording at night because like right now I just I feel locked in I feel like I'm seeing the ball so well right now I don't know if it's really doing anything for my pitching but hitting I, I actually do feel like it makes a difference Kyle Schwarber, no doubt home run. Let's go, dude. Absolutely destroyed. That one got out of here in a hurry. Getting our five-run lead back. Trevor Story. Getting a base hit. That was a nice play, man. If the throw would have been on target, I think he would have had me. And one down, one runner on for D.D. Gregorius. Oh, no. Instead of being the final line of the inning, we're scoring one more run. Johnny Bench, I don't know if that counts as an RBI. I don't think it does because there was an error on the play. Uh, but I will take that for sure. 7-1 to one lead, three outs away from getting win number two. And that's going to be it for game number one here in this video. Let's go ahead, get win number three. I actually really do like this team. Um... We scored a lot of runs that game. We had quite a few homers. I think we had three home runs. Johnny Ben Schwarber and Griffey each had one. Trevor Story, two for two today. And only thing I'm scared about this team is my ability to score runs. Like, yeah, we scored seven runs that game. Awesome. But if I have, like, a bad first inning, you know, bad first few hitters, first three or four hitters, I think it's going to be tough for me to score in the second and third. So I really need to focus on having a good first inning and get a couple runs and I think we should be good let's go ahead though stay undefeated get win number three we're playing the Coolia can los doyers our opponent has Jonathan VR immortal Mike pizza 82 future stars Colin Moran Steve Pierce Adam Jones Matt Kemp Dustin Fowler Johan Camargo Jimmy Callahan on the mound we got Sean Reed Foley on the mound again two games in a row looking for win number three as we are the home team looking to Pick up where we left off, man. We killed it last game. And ball four to Jonathan VR. I'm done with Sean, man. Like, so you guys can see my relievers aren't warmed up. This is my second mound visit. I've already done a mound visit. So, like, they're as warm as they can be. And that pitcher, no control. I was getting good release and even hitting my spot for a few of those. And it would not go anywhere close to where I wanted it. So... We're going to go ahead and bring in Jerry's Familia. We just did. Immortal Mike Piazza coming up. I don't think I'm going to worry about the runner. I probably should have, but it's just, I think he probably will. I, I, like, even if I slide seven and throw a fastball, I seem to not even be able to throw someone with like 60, 70 speed out. So it's like with 85 speed, I almost feel like it's not worth the risk of throwing a fastball down the middle while I'm trying to slide step and just give up a two-run home run to Mike Piazza. This way, I can try to strike guys out, get a little pop out like that where they can't advance, do whatever, and just try to get out of the inning without allowing a run 
and I, I think it's overall better if I don't focus on the runner. See right there, he was stealing, I didn't really care, and now we got the guy to pop out. Huge. Now we have two down. If he steals third, who cares? Because if he's on third, hits a fly ball, no sacrifice fly. So I'm, I'm happy with the situation we're in. I think that's, that's an approach I need to take with me the rest of this year and then into MLB 19 as well, where I just, if I give up a base runner, depending on the situation, but for the most part, I think just not really worry about the runner. Uh, I, I think it's going to be better for me to just focus on the batter and trying to get that out instead. Because I feel like there's just been so many times where I've given up home runs or just big hits because I'm trying to slide step into worrying too much about that and not focusing enough and paying enough attention to the hitter. Ball four to Trevor Story. 92 speed on the bases. Only one down. DD coming up. Something into the gap scores Trevor. All right, I'm going to steal 0-2 to DD. We're taking that leadoff step. He's going to pick me off. That's bad. Oh, no. I am dumb, man. From 0-2 to 3-2 at DD Gregorius, we're watching a very, very close pitch there. Drawing ball four uh, with two down. Johnny Bench coming up. Had a huge home run last game. Looking to get a huge home run here. Uh, that would just be huge. Carlos Gomez, one out base hit here in the bottom of the second inning. 86 speed on the bases. I'm not going to try to steal. Majority of the time when I try to steal, it seems to never go well. I've already been caught once, and there's no way I'm going to even try here. And hopefully we score. I would love to just hit something into the gap right now. No, two down here in the bottom of the third inning. He's intentionally walking. Trevor Story, man. That's not what I wanted. Didi Gregorius coming up. 92 speed. If we can get something into the gap, we win the game here. I do not want to go to extra innings. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve Pierce getting a base hit. I thought maybe Story was going to just field it. Bam. And uh, get him out. But two-out base hit for him here in the fourth inning. Adam Jones coming up. We have Kyle Bearclaw on the mound. My ear, I don't know how many innings it is. I don't think it's a huge sample size. My ERA with Bearclaw is like five. And I'm sure maybe it's lower now that he's got in the first two outs of the inning because it's like 5.07 or something. But I don't have a great track record with him. And I don't know why that is because I think he's actually a pretty solid pitcher in the game and everything. And I'm just really hoping... I can get to the bottom of the fourth inning without allowing a run here. Let's go. We're doing it. Let's just go walk it off. He's intentionally walking Johnny Bench, man. I don't blame him at all. Like, I really don't. Uh, hater on the mound getting to a lefty, but I'm sad. I wanted Bench to try to walk it off. No, Matt Kemp leading off the top of the fifth inning. Or the base hit. Trying to get out of this inning without allowing a run as well. You're kidding me. He leaves Hader in the game and gets a base hit with him. I think it was a jammed base hit, though, because, yeah, lefty lefty batter, and it goes to the third baseman. Yeah, late week contact. Dang it, man. Not a big deal. Hader getting a base hit, uh, jam base hit, two down here in the inning. If that comes back to bite me, man, I'm going to be sad. I'm going to be really sad. Jonathan Villar up. He's a switch hitter. I'm taking, out, I'm taking this guy out, man. I'm bringing in Jim Johnson. His energy's too low. Energy low, I think confidence maybe a little bit low after giving up a base hit to the pitcher. And I think it's going to be a much better option for me to bring in Jim Johnson here. Like, if, if he comes up to bat in the bottom of the inning, I, I can leave him in if I want. I can pinch it, whatever. But I need to get VR out. And then plus, or mortal Mike Piazza if we don't. I think that was just the right decision there. Getting out of the inning, let's go. Whew, man, that was intense. It's gone. It's not gone. Whoa. Jeffrey Marte. I thought it was going to be caught at first the way he was running, and then he starts running forward. I'm like, wait, what's happening? Uh, Jeffrey Marte getting a base hit there. I mean, you know what? I need this. I'm going to bring in Paul Molitor to pinch hit, man. I don't know if this is a good idea, uh, but Josh Hader on the mound. Paul Molitor up. Winning run, one down in scoring position here. Oh, my goodness. Stealing. Paul Molitor. I was thinking about going home. Maybe I should have. Would I have been safe? I don't know. Two down, runner on third, though. Kyle Schwarber coming up. Oh, my goodness. This is crazy. Kyle Schwarber wins us the game. Let's go. Into center field, and we win. Staying undefeated with this team. Let's go, baby. This is the 12th. 
Yo, did you see Schwarber? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me go into the replay real quick. See that, uh, that last one. Schwarber. I, I just want to see if he does it in the replay, too. Let's go. Dude, Schwarber's, Schwarber was like, give me that ball, man. That's the game ball. I need it. I need it. I need it. That's awesome. And, uh... <laughs> I want to use this for the thumbnail, but I I, I don't think we will. Um, but I think this would be kind of funny. Like, oh, Schwarber charges the second base. I don't know. Uh, either way, though, staying undefeated with the team, guys. We are 3-0 with this team. Going to continue it tomorrow. And I really like two games per video. I think in 19, maybe for the rest of 18, I think my goal will be two games per video. If one's super short, maybe get a third one in, like if someone quits or something really early on or before it even starts. Uh, but I, I think I like the two games per video because you're getting more than one. I feel like one is just so short for video. And uh, I, I like the two games per BR video. So hopefully you guys like that as well. I think that's kind of a sweet spot for me. I think three, I, it's for me, it starts to feel a little bit long. Uh, I know the videos, I kind of condense and then cut it down. But playing and recording three games in a BR video, that starts to get a little bit long. Uh, but we'll see, man. Like Things can always change. If you guys enjoyed this video, though, be sure to leave a like. I felt like it was a good video. That was a lot of fun, man. I had a lot of fun today, and uh, hopefully you guys did as well. Like, comment, subscribe, follow on Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, subscribe to the Fortnite channel, second channel. Uh, that link is in the description below, and I think that's all that I have for you guys. I'll see you next time. Hopefully, it's a 12-0 team. We only played three games. We're 25% of the way there. Uh, a lot can change in tomorrow's video, so we'll see what happens. Thank you so much for watching. As always, have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace out.